Welcome to a new lesson. Today, I want to show you something about multiplication. Let's start by taking a three bar and multiplying it by five. I also want to make a point that when we have a multiplier, we tend to use the gray tiles, but I'd like you to be able to see them better. So I'm using the white tiles. One, two, three, four, five. Now, what do we get? What is our product? Do you remember that? It's 15. We lay out the product vertically. This is called vertical layout. And when the beads go this way, they're called horizontal layout. So when we have our final answer, we lay it out vertically. Now let's switch these two numbers around. We're gonna take a five and multiply it by three. So let's take our five three times, one, two, three. And what's the product there? 15 again. What have you noticed in that exercise? The products are the same, aren't they? Let's see if that works with some other numbers. This time, I'm gonna take a four bead and multiply it by eight. Okay, do we remember what four times eight is? You can count all these beads if you don't remember. Four times two is eight. So we'd have eight plus eight, we know that's 16. 16 plus 16 is 32. Now let's see if we reverse those. We're going to take an eight bar and multiply it four times. Eight times two is 16. And 16 plus 16 again is 32. It worked for that one too. Let's do one more. Five times six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do you happen to have this multiplication memorized? If not, go ahead and count them. And that translates into 30. Okay, now let's flip this around and we have six times five. So let's take a six bead five times. One, two, three, four, five. Do you remember the product of that? You guessed it. It's 30. I encourage you to experiment with different bead and tile combinations and see if you get the same product every time when you switch around the multiplier and the multiplicand. So do you remember for our first problem, we did three taken five times and we discovered that that equals 15. And then we did five taken three times and discovered that that two equals 15. Here's an interesting mathematical law. When we multiply two numbers together, it doesn't matter what order they're in. The product will always be the same, no matter the order. This is called the commutative law. It's a big word, isn't it? I 
think a law should be written in a large font, don't you? You can see by these two problems, your multiplicand and your multiplier are reversed. But again, we still see the product is still the same. And we call it commutative law. I bet you're wondering about this word commutative. It comes from the Latin word mutare, which means to change. And over the years, it evolved into commutare, which means to go back and forth. And maybe you've heard people say that they commute to work or they commute to school. That means that they drive back and forth to those places. So that's what we've done here. We've alternated these numbers back and forth. In these examples, we have two numbers being multiplied together. Can you imagine what this might look like if you had more than two numbers being multiplied? Do you think the commutative law would still apply? Let's practice this and master it. And then we'll move on to that concept. There's so much to discover in math. That's why it's one of my favorite subjects. Hope you enjoy it too. See you at the next lesson. We have a lot more lessons at Guidepost with activities that you can do at home or at school. One of my favorites is in the video description below.